We're so excited you'll be coming to Fairbanks February 24th with Alaska Family Council. Can you share with us what will you be talking to Alaska about? A lot of things, including the the civil war in the United States and the war in the Middle East. They're very much related. Uh, the, the left in America supports Hamas. The left in America is anti-American. They, they almost go together. I wrote an essay. I write a column every week. There are literally a thousand of them on the internet for those interested. And uh, it was, if you say men give birth, everyone, everyone knows what your stance is on Hamas versus Israel. Hmm. How do we know that? Why are they in any possible way related? Yet we know, it's not we assume, we know if you say men give birth, you're pro-Hamas and anti-Israel. Because the, the, that is the way the conscience, the mind uh, uh, work. When you're, when you're colossally wrong, now anybody could be wrong on any one subject, but when you're colossally wrong, you tend to be colossally wrong in everything. It's sort of like at a restaurant, I've noticed. If if the opening course isn't good, the odds are the entree won't be good, and vice versa. Restaurants tend to have constantly delicious or constantly mediocre uh, dishes. Uh, uh, that is the way it works in the moral sphere. The, the People who believe lies will believe lies about everything. If you believe a, a boy can become a girl, then you believe Hamas is the good guy. Mm -hmm. Just so anyway, so those are the, that's why I'm speaking about both. I think it's uh, good. Uh, in Fairbanks. Yeah. Again, February 24th, 1130, you can get your tickets at Alaska Family Council's website. Um, Josiah, what was your follow-up question on Hamas for Mr. Prager? Well... I guess my main follow-up would be, you were talking about how my generation has been educated by fools and that's why we say foolish things. So what is the best way that I can change my peers' minds? And as you said earlier, get my ideas out to other people and successfully change their stances. One of the most effective ways is to, is to give them good articles and, and good videos. Uh, you don't even have to be the source of the argument. It, it, that's why people, you know, put things up on their Twitter account. They want others to see that. The problem is the brainwash is so deep that they assume if you show the other side, <coughs> excuse me, they assume if you if you show the other side, you are <clears throat> you are showing the bad guy, and they won't be open to hearing it. This is, uh, that's the uh, Orwellian use of the word misinformation, so that people who said don't lock down schools were accused of not following science. The people who ruined a generation of kids not going to school for nearly two years, they said they were following science, and those of us, like me, who said you are ruining children's lives, I said it in April 2020, I said that lockdowns were the greatest international mistake in history. It's on the internet. And of course, the entire left said, oh, this is misinformation, and uh, therefore, uh, Google and others actually suppressed it, because uh, as, as you know, I do a fireside chat every week. Uh, for a Prager U from my home. And uh, I get questions from all over the world from mostly young people. So one asked about three months ago, how do I know who's telling the truth? And I came up with an immediate response that I thought was really good. I had not thought about it before. I was put on the spot to answer it. The side that censors is usually the liar. Wow. We are, we conservatives are very happy for you to read other opinions. They are not. There is no example since the Russian Revolution in 1917 of the left allowing dissent. It doesn't it from from Lenin, Vladimir Lenin to your local university, they never allow dissent. The the uproar against the teacher showing a 5-minute PragerU video is the perfect example of the left. The teachers' unions coming out against anyone who shows a PragerU video. You can't handle a five-minute video? Of course they can. Because truth 
wallops lies in five minutes. Hmm. It's a really good response. I know that we only have you for a short time. What is the most important thing you think Americans need to know in this time, like you said, a time of civil war? Uh, most important thing they need to know to take a stand. That the left destroys everything it touches, from music to art to elementary schools, high schools, universities, the American Medical Association. There is nothing. The National Football League, which is going to play two national anthems so as to further divide the country. If if people have courage, I'll tell you what, they. Uh, it's too hard, I know, not to watch the Super Bowl. But if the ratings went down, it would be a magnificent day in American life.